Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code goodfella one boxing Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, Calvin Duper Mutterland. His, his, his uh, nickname was Duper. His middle name was James. 43-year-old security guard at a downtown Flint family dollar was murdered over senseless BS um, in the store uh, the other day. Let's talk about it. We back. Good fella sports TV. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, and I leave the article link in the description so you can if you want to read it and get the the minor details if I miss any. And um, basically, he was doing his job. And I used to do retail security, man. And um, at Walgreens when I was in school, and um, just never really felt comfortable doing it because the guy that was training me to do it. He ended up getting killed at a club downtown Detroit. And after that, I just didn't want to do it no more. You know, I didn't know him that long, but, you know, he was he was cool. You know, he taught me the ropes and stuff, and I just didn't want to do retail security no more. And uh, this is one of the reasons why. And I was in the hood, too. And, um, you know, Mr. Mullen was doing his job in in, in Detroit and in Michigan. Uh, the governor, Gretchen Whitmer, Whitmer you have to have a mask on or some covering your nose and mouth. If you go into the stores, it's Myers, Walgreens, the gas station, whatever the situation may be. All right. And also, depending on how many square feet the store is, they only allow a certain number of people in the store. So if it's a smaller store, they might say five or four people at a time. All right. If it's the grocery store, Myers, it's a hundred people. It's 150 people until 8 p.m. or 6 p.m. And then they cut it down to a to a hundred. So if there's 150 people in there, and you got 20, 30 people standing outside, they got to get under a hundred a hundred people to start letting people in the store. So a lot of people are hostile because they don't understand why we all can't be in the store at the same time. But in this situation, Sh uh, Sh Shermel, Shermel, her name is Shermel. I want to make sure I get it right. She walks into the store, right? Well, her daughter don't have a mask on. He says she need to have a mask on. Now, I don't I don't believe he said, hey, B, you know, what the F you doing? Put your goddamn gun mask on, Hope. I don't think he said nothing like that. But he told her to put the mask on. And, you know, Shamel was like, you know, no, nah, you know, I guess she was like, I'm just going to get some things. I ain't got no mask. And I probably don't want to go back home to get my mask, you know. So, you know, basically, you know, uh, Mr. Mullen told the cashier not to service her because she didn't have a mask on. The lady, Shamel, proceeded to spit on the guy. All right, you spit on him. They get into an altercation. He still didn't put hands on her, right? She leave the store. She get her husband, Mr. Teague. She go home and get her son, Mr. Bishop, right? They come back 20 minutes later around 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is in Flint. This is around, This is about an hour away from Detroit downtown Flint. She comes back and get her, her, her people. You know, the son going to the store, the husband going to the store to confront him. Now, I don't know if the husband and the mama knew that the son had a gun. And they probably did know. But when you bring a gun to any type of altercation to this point, what do you think gonna happen? When you, be, when you, when you go bring a gun to go rob a house or rob somebody, you think everything gonna go well and he gonna give you the give you his jury. A lot of times people gonna fight, or even if people don't fight, they flinch, you shoot them. You know, at the end of the day, if they came there to fight him, you know, cool. But he was a big guy. <laughs> it looked like he, he was a security guard that was in the weight room. And she probably articulated that to them, like, hey, this is a big guy. Um, y'all might be able to take him, y'all might not. And he was like, Oh, okay, I got I got the equalizer. You know, I got the equalizer in. I don't know if she told him his role and, 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 and her being disrespectful and resentful towards the rules. And this is why it's important to raise your kids to follow, to follow the rules. You know, if you don't like the rules, go to another family dollar, go to Donald General, but wherever you go, you got to put that mask on. Or you got to put a scarf to cover your face wherever you go. And this is why, you know, this is why you don't understand why people just can't follow basic rules. The rule ain't to protect just everybody in the store. It's to protect your kid and to protect you. And you go run and tell your husband and your son and you threw all their life away. What about the, the daughter you was with? What about your kids at home? 
So you done took two, you know, three lives, four lives and fucked them up instantly. And Lord knows how many people she got at home. And we know they ain't got the money to, to beat this case because the, the visual is here. The evidence is here. She went home and probably told some fucking lie. Oh, he pushed me or, or, or he disrespected me and he called me this. He called me that. And, you know, they go down there. The husband argue with him and the son just blow his head off from the back. He wasn't even man enough to squirrel with the guy first. It's kind of like your kid in school. You feel me? Where your kids say one thing happened, you talk to the principal, and it's a totally different situation. And she ran at home and probably told these lies. Oh, he, I, I you know, I didn't, I didn't want to put no mask on, and he disrespected me. He called me this, and I just, come on. Now you messed up all these lives. They should be thrown under the jail. Under the jail, man. And it's unfortunate that, you know, you just, this dude was a, was a father of nine kids. Father of the year award. Had a wife at home. And they got a GoFundMe in there. It might be an article. I didn't really see it, but it might be an article. They already raised 30000 You know what I'm saying? Nine kids. A wife. A dude making an honest living and you go up there and throw everybody's life away because you didn't want to put a mask on. Senseless. My people is senseless. You know, and, and her her son is a punk. He's a punk. Why you pick up a gun and shoot the dude in the back of his head? Shit, at least swing on him. I seen somebody... Somebody uh pull a belt out and whoop a family dollar uh worker, you know, try to whoop him. At least try to fight him as two of y'all, take him down. You know, but you're gonna pull the gun, or at least, hey, calm down, ma. What happened? Blah say blah. 23 years old, that kid life over with. You can't take that gun in the prison system with you. People talk about, oh, you know, you know, this dude bench 400, squat this, all that to get hit by this 40. When you get hit by that 40 and go to jail, what happened? Can't take the 40 with you. Can't take the Glock with you. Can't take the Draco with you. He's going to be in jail with just your hands. You don't know how to use your hands. You know, he's going to get everything he coming to in that prison system. Him and the daddy. Or her husband. Since it's killing, man. But hey, let me know what you think about the story. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. To me, it's very, very sad. They had a candlelight in front of the family dollar. And that's just happened too much in Michigan, man. Um, remember, the security guard got killed on 6 and Schaefer. Um, I forget that situation, but they killed them on six and Schaefer. And then, you know, retail security is a very, very dangerous job, man. It really is, man. And, um, so I stopped doing it at a young age. These dudes, you know, just disrespectful. But hey, if you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the links in the description, you got business question, quiet response, your video request, those links there. Want to make a donation to the channel, cash out PayPal there. I do appreciate everybody for checking in. If you want to check out my Detroit channel, sports news, it's Motor City Sports Talk right here on YouTube. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time we go.